Hey guys, welcome back. It's Shotline, and this is Subnautica, and this is our little starter base we built in the last episode. It's fulfilling our needs at the moment. We have some storage in here, there and there. We've got a battery charger. Battery's charged up. So that's our spare, and then we've got one fully charged, and then we have a fully charged in the Sea Glide. We've got some food, we've got a cured Reginald, a few things of water, old cooked pepper, peeper. Uh, we'll go ahead and eat him. And yeah, I think we're going to head out to, not that one, that one, Life Pod 17. So we're going to, not that. Why does my stuff keep getting rearranged? So. We are going to head out to Life Pod 17. See what we can find over there. Hopefully, a Seamoth. Yeah, that guy. We can outrun him with the Sea Glide. Uh, we need to find Seamoth parts and. Wait, where? There. Seamoth parts and. Well, we don't have to find the Moon Pool, but I would like to. So, where are we heading? Heading out this way. So it looks like he's going to be in deep water. That's all right. The, uh, reef backs are around. Where to go? There he is. But we have that large O2 tank. There it is. All right, let's get a fresh tank of air. Then we'll go down and see what we can find. Hopefully Seamoth parts. Alright, here we go. Yeah, there's Seamoth parts right there. Yep, Seamoth fragment. How many do we need? Three. Okay, so that's one. Sand shark. Let's go in here. PDA data. There's no, is there any, any, there isn't, there's not a little technology thing, oh, let's see my part, right, come here, oh, yeah, I want you, there we go, this is number two, oh, uh, wouldn't it be great if all three were around here, we found three parts around here, ooh, that's a nice little cave, to explore that. Uh, it's looking like only two. Oh, that would have been so nice. But we can go and check that other wreckage. Wait, didn't they say something about a cutter? Didn't we need a cutter? Yeah, you should be able to pull those out. Power cells. Should be able to use that. I thought they said we needed a cutter down here. I was lied to. Alright, so I'm not seeing any more sea moss fragments seconds. around here. But we found two. We only need one more. And then we will build the mobile vehicle bay which we've already found all the blueprints for. Um, and then the sea ball. Alright, so... That other wreck was out this way, wasn't it? It was... at the back of... or near the back of the... Aurora. So, I'm gonna hunt around for that. And when I find it, bring you right back. Hey guys, I'm back and I haven't found that wreck, but I did find this. Seamoth fragment number three. Yes. Alright, so we are gonna head back to base. Ooh. Hello. Ooh, those guys bite. 
No, the, those little red guys there. See them? Those guys bite. So let's head back to base, and we're going to build that mobile vehicle bay. Hopefully it doesn't take any crazy resources. But uh, we're going to go see what resources we need to make it, and then we'll craft it up, and I'll bring you guys right back. See you in a few minutes. Alright, welcome back guys. We are ready to build the mobile vehicle bay. It only take took only takes English. A titanium eaglet, lubricant, and a power cell. Which we already had all of that. So I just gathered them up and we're ready to make that. So let's fire this up. And there we go, we got that. So We'll head out here. Release the vehicle. Release the bay. Alright, so this looks like a good place. Let's just pop that guy out there. Or not. Do I have to do it from underwater? No. Do I have to put it in one of my spots? There we go. Alright. So, ah, fine. All right, we got our little buddies here. These are the fabrication modules. Yeah, it's like a 3D printer, sort of. All right, vehicle CMOS. So we need a titanium ingot, a power cell, two glass, and a lubricant. So the power cell is the only thing that will be. You guys just wait there. The power cell is the only thing we don't have. So let's go see what that takes. I think that's pretty easy to make. Power cell, two batteries, and silicon rubber. All right, so we have silicon rubber, because I made a bunch in the beginning. Um, we need copper. We have one copper. So we're going to need two copper. You know what? I'm going to make two of them. So we need four batteries. What else? Silicon rubber. Yeah, that's right. So four batteries. So that will be eight copper and uh, all right. You know what? We'll we'll just make the one because we want to have a spare. That's why I want to make two, but. We gotta find more copper, and we can use the seamoth to find copper. So, alright, where are the acid mushrooms? I think things are everywhere except when you want them. There we go. Alright, so we need four of these. Alright, there we go. I think that's all we need. Okay, so. Battery. And battery. And silicon rubber. And craft it. Alright, so we got that. Alright, so then we need lubricant, titanium ingot, and what else? Where is it? Should be in here somewhere. There we go. What else? Two glass. Alright. Two glass. Uh, no glass there. Let's go see what we have in the other containers. I'm pretty sure we have a glass somewhere. It might be... There we go. Two glass. Four quarts, we'll make two glass. Alright, so glass. And glass. And I think that's it, is it? Is it? Let's go see. I'm so excited. There. Yeah, guys, I'm coming. Yep, get ready. We are doing this. There we go. Alright, now they go to work. 
Look at it. Oh yeah, baby. It's just like a 3D printer. Sort of, kind of. Alright. And we have it. Yes. Welcome aboard, yes. Captain. Welcome. Oh, I love this thing. So yeah, this is great because we can jump out, run around, and when we jump back in, refills our oxygen. So this is like, it's not only fast travel, but it's a mobile oxygen thing. Alright, so we need to make an extra power cell. So we're going to run around and find some copper. Make an extra power cell, and then we will listen to that other message. Alright guys, so when I got all that, so when I'm ready to listen to that message, I'll bring you all back. See you in a minute. Oh my god, guys. Look at that. My brand new sea moth is in pieces. Because of stupid little crash fish. Oh my god. I don't think, yeah, I can't even salvage anything. Alright, so I'm a little annoyed now. Um, so yeah, I was just out looking for copper. And that guy, I missed him, and he blew up right next to me. And now I don't have a sea moth anymore, so now I have to make another one. So I'm going to run around, find all the bits and pieces, and... Push. Dehydration detected. Make another one. So I'll be back. So sad. Be right back, guys. Alright, guys. Welcome back. As you can see, we've made a new sea moth. <sighs> so that was a little frustrating. Welcome I also aboard, made Captain. an extra power cell while I was at it. So when this thing runs out of energy, I'll be good to go. Alright, so I said we wanted to go listen to the other radio signal that we have. Let's go listen to that. See what we got. This is automated distress signal from life pod 4 coordinates attached. Since planetfall pod has not sustained damage, no crew members have disembarked. Zero life signs have been detected on board. Recommend investigation. Alright, so it sounds like that was a pod launched with nobody on it. So, we have a new signal here. So, that's the new one. We've done life pod 3. So, we will put life pod 4 in there. And we searched that one already, so we'll pop that one out. Alright, so we have a Reginald. Do we have some salt? Yep salt. So let's make some food. Let's cure him. So we have something to eat on the trip. Need to get some water. Are there any, are there any nearby? Come on, bladderfish. Where are you? Come on, there's going to be a bladderfish somewhere. Uh, I need a more reliable source of water. One. I thought I saw one scooting over here. There's one. Two. Yep. Come on. Three. Let's do one more. One more. One more. One more. Come on. One more. There we go. One more. All right. Let's go make up some water, and then we'll head out to investigate Life Pod 4. There we go. Oh, food. Water. One. Two. Three. Four. Alright, we will drink two of those right now, and we're good to go. Alright, where's our Seamoth? There he is. Alright, let's go out in the Seamoth and see what 
we can find. See if we can keep from getting this one destroyed right away. Like, that's like driving your car off the lot and immediately getting, immediately running into a telephone pole. It was the stupidest thing. Oh, sure, Seamoth fragments everywhere now. Battery charger. Ooh, oh, we need that. Nuclear waste disposal. That will come in handy later on. Alright, while we're here, anything else? Let's look around. See wide. Nothing in there. I mean, we can scan this for the titanium, but we don't really need it. Got that. That over here. Yeah, bioreactor. We got that already. Battery charger. Got that. Sea moth. We got that. All right. Let's head out. If I mentioned what a beautiful game this is, I love the way this game looks. It is awesome. No, 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 no. We're leaving. We're out of here. Please, no. Please, no. No! Oh my god. Help, help, help. Please don't destroy it. Please don't. Please don't. Let go, let go, let go. 33, 25. Come on. Oh my god. Run. Run, 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 run. Oh my god. I could just see it. Losing this one right away. No, 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 no. Is he still following us? No, he's not. Oh my god. That was crazy. Alright. So, we're going back home. We'll investigate that later. Maybe he'll move off. But, you know what? We need to... Where's our repair tool? Luckily, we can repair this with the repair tool. Oh. So close. Oh. That, oh my god. Alright guys, I think with that, so that was the Reaper Leviathan. That's like one of the biggest creatures out in the open ocean. But yeah, with that, we are going to end this video. I need to get my nerves back. That was a little scary. Mostly because I didn't want to lose my beautiful new sea moth that I just built for a second time. So yeah, we're gonna head into base. We're gonna end that here. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And oh, look at that thing. It's so awesome looking out there. It's like having a brand new car. But yeah, uh, leave a comment if you like. And I appreciate you being here. I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye. Don't be farting on my Seamoth. <laughs> Keep the fart bubbles away. Alright guys, bye.